Welcome to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. I am Jerry. Joining me on this segment, I've got Max and Terry, and we are here to talk about the ageless wonder that is Leighton Baines. But that is kind of the question here. Is he actually ageless, ageless wonder? All right, because that's that's what we're, we're here to discuss. Um, he actually put in quite a shift against United on Sunday. Uh, three chances created, just rattling off some stats here really quick. Uh, 22 passes completed, 12 crosses, 66 touches, five duels won, two, air, two area duels won, two interceptions, and uh, three recoveries. Uh, basically, uh, he had a good one. He played well. And that's what we've been getting from him when he's used sparingly. All right? When we get spot starts from Leighton Baines, he looks good. He looks strong. And he looks like he's still got it. He's 35 years old. I just want to put that out there. I'm, I mean, I'm older than that, so I'm not sitting there like saying, you know, I'm not trying to be ageist or anything. But I'm just saying he'll be 36 in December. Okay? So... Here's the deal. Aging players usually do well in spot duty, but consistency after a while is it can be an issue. So if he let's say we give him a new contract, let's say we keep him around a little bit longer, and let's say if Luca Dean is our starter and he's out for a long time for some reason. Hope that doesn't happen. But if he's out for a long time, then we're talking about Leighton Baines being our number two for like more than a month. That, I think, is the scenario we have to ask ourselves when we're saying, is this the kind of situation where you want to give him a new contract? you got to think about leadership qualities. you got to think about the fact that he's, he's an amazing player for the club for a long time. So, Terry, I'm going to let you start this one. <sighs> Do you give Leighton Baines a new contract? No, but with an asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> Of course. <laughs> We're all going to be like, yes, with an asterisk. No, with an asterisk. <laughs> so many asterisks. <laughs> Go ahead, Terry. Sorry. Um, I think we will. Um, because Just because Carlo has name-checked him and Coleman a couple of times since he's been at the club as like important squad members, especially when he first arrived and he hadn't really... It may have just been these are the players I know play for Everton because they were there a long time ago. But it, but he, he's name checked them a couple of times. Um, the uh, Baines has um, performed quite well, and he's come in for the games that he has done. And I don't mean he's just he's not looked off the pace. I mean like he's been one of the better players. He was be one of the better players at Arsenal, and he's one of the better players against Man United. And so I think we will. I think the other areas of the squad will be more pressing financially. So I think. You know, I personally think we need, you know, four players at least to go straight to the first team. Then, you know, centre back, right backs, central midfield, and right midfield. So I think that leaves very little sort of scope to bring in a new left back to replace Baines. But in an ideal world, I would like to see Baines go out on a high, you know, with his, you know, still playing at a decent level. You know, we still love him. I don't want to see him stay too long, which I've seen other players do. And there's, you know, the it's a, it it mars their memory a little bit if they don't go out, you know, at a good level. Uh, and I'd like to see us bring a young, you know, a very young left back in who can, you know, sort of be groomed, and you know, rotate with Luca Dean throughout the season. Especially if we're in Europe, where they'll get a lot more games. But that may be in terms of. The reality of the situation maybe a little bit football manager, maybe a little bit FIFA where you know you know you doesn't work like that. You can't have wholesale changes every single summer to freshen the squad up. So I wouldn't. I'd like to get a young player in and you know really go down that route, but I would not be unhappy if the club chose not to. And I don't think they are going to do it. I think they will renew his contract for another year and then address the left back position the summer after when. You know, fingers crossed. There's not as much um, surgery needs to do other parts of the squad. I think they see that as you know fine for now, and we'll uh, we'll get that one next time. Okay, Max, how are you feeling about it? Leighton Baines is probably yeah, maybe Wayne Rooney in his prime, but on from that, Leighton Baines got to be up there. I've seen the Premier League are coming out with like him. Um, like these Premier League awards, and I think Leighton Baines would certainly be our nomination. Um, 
he could have left us a couple of years ago and gone on to be a you know a trophy winning caliber left back um, but just out of sheer loyalty and I think you know it speaks volumes of the man that he is that he stayed uh, which very much looks like till the end of his career um, would I extend his contract yes because of the point Terry raised that we're Obviously, there are other matters that need to be addressed first. But, and again, this is called adding to the point that you mentioned as well, that Everton are traditionally so bad at succession planning. Um, you know, there's so many players that we've played until there's well past the sell-by date and they're burnt out. Tim Howard, Leon Osmond, Tony Hibbert. Just, you know, there's a, there's a list of players that we just burnt out. Um, I'm cautious that, you know, we've played them against Arsenal play them against Man United and it, I, I don't think that's how you should use Leighton Baines um, obviously needs but needs must with the injury to Luca Dean but it doesn't bode quite well I think as you said Jerry 35 years old 35 years old with a history of injury problems and you know it, it only takes one knock or you know a certain amount of overtraining for one of those injuries to flare up again um, mm. that being said Technically, still, I think, you know, a cut above quite a few in the squad. Still got an absolute wand of a left foot. His delivery is absolutely brilliant. Um, would have liked to see him adopt a responsibility at set, piece, set pieces a bit more. I mean, I know they probably favoured Sigurdsson, given that he could, you know, cut across with his right foot. But as I said, his, his delivery and ability from set pieces has just never been doubted. Um uh, again, just to sort of raise a red flag, I think one major criticism of the under 23s is that, although, yeah, fantastic, we just coming off the back of winning, you know, a double winning season in Cup and League, but we never seem to have an individual that can step up and be a functioning part of the first team. Um, Matty Folds, I believe, is currently playing left back for the under 23s, and again, and I've not seen all that much of the under 23s, but again, if if, a, if one of them was good enough to to step in, I, th- I think we'd all know, um, and that doesn't seem to be the case, particularly at left back. Um, I think we can only, you know, touch wood that Luca Dean gets fit and healthy ASAP. I think there was a time where we felt like we had kind of the uh, heir apparent when we had Anthony Robinson in there. I think the club had some high hopes there. But he was suffering. It felt like seemed like injury after injury after injury, and uh, I think now we, I mean, with that's when we, we finally were like, you know what, we're just going to go ahead and sell him to Wigan, which yeah. is where he's I moved been. to it. I moved. I moved to AC Milan. Yeah. Very nearly materialized or fell through, yeah. which was quite bizarre. Which almost kind of made you think, oh, I wish we hadn't let him go. But yeah, it's hard. It's a has, weird thing. You can't predict that kind of stuff. Fired. Mm. Yeah, you, you'd only you'd only feel like that if you haven't seen AC Milan recently. Like, it's <laughs> no it, true. It, 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 it feels like he's going to a bigger, better, you know, club than than he's just left. And you know, certainly, you know, history and name wise, they are. But at the minute, AC Milan are not a good team. Like, right. I, 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 I hope, I hope, you know, Jedi gets the move. I hope he, he goes to AC Milan and has a brilliant career. But uh, and I. I I reckon he's right still in the summer because he came back and was very uh, upbeat about the move. I think I'd be, you know, with me curtains drawn for for weeks on end if if I had a career move like that had I'd stalled and failed. But I, I reckon he'll go back in the summer. But yeah, someone in that mould, someone young who can you know who can step in uh, and replace Baines is spot in the squad. But understudy Luca Dean, I think it'd be ideal. But it's it's easier said than done. We you know we've had that before and it's not worked out Robertson's one Garbutt's the most obvious one Luke Garbutt at one point looked like yeah well there's our Baines replacement mm-hmm. he, we th- I thought he'd be Luca Dean and he's where is he now <laughs> nowhere yeah. it's hard yeah I, I mean I'm gonna agree agree with you guys in a way I mean uh, I, I mean I'm gonna agree, flat out just agree with Max uh, but because of Terry's reason because Max had similar reasons to what Terry said. Terry did that thing where he's like, we're not going to give him a contract, but I think we will, and here's the very good reason why. You know what I mean? So <laughs> it's, we, yeah. yeah, and I, I think extend it by a year because we got bigger fish to fry right now. And it's just, yeah. that's I, I, just where we're at. 
you know. I know. I was going to say, mention an AC Milan there. I'm sure Theo Hernandez is their top goal scorer at left back. Um, I wouldn't mind us sniffing around there to see if we could mm. get a deal to come off. But I don't know. It's a it's a strange marker to feel at left back. I think you need to you know you need to be 100 percent sure. Like I would have said a few years about you, we should have went in for Alfonso Davies at Vancouver, but oh. look at what he's up to in our way. Yeah, what a player! What a player! My gosh, and that's the funny thing is I saw I had seen him play, uh, but I had not seen him play on that kind of stage before. And it's I mean I'm I'm totally excited for him. A player who's come from come from MLS playing for playing for Bayern Munich now and looks just so strong, man. Looks just so strong. I, we watched the my family watched the the Chelsea uh, Champions League match from I guess it was last week. We had recorded it and I rewound that assist he had. I, guess, I think it was the it was the second or third goal. I'm trying to remember which one it was, but it was nice. It was just really nice. The guy's got speed. He's intelligent. Uh, it, yeah, so it's, it's trying to figure. I think that's why you you do all the the research you do, man. So I that's why we just got to keep thinking. That's why that's why bronze is here, man. Yeah, and I, I've got to say, and I, know, I, I didn't mention it in the the match, like the, the extra time, purely because you know I knew we'd go on to talk about Leighton Baines, but it's twenty twenty. Seamus Coleman and Leighton Baines shouldn't be starting games together. <laughs> like it's like you know, it's like seeing Leon Osman and Tony Ebert in the same lineup for like the last ten years. Like, come on, succession planning it needs to happen. Mm-hmm. You can't, you know, you can't just gloss over it. And I, and you know it is kind of one of those things where we are. I, I feel like we are moving moving in the right direction in terms of making decisions for the in that in that manner. You know what I mean, Max? Like uh, actually being able to, but it's just it's just not an immediate thing. And I think if you take a look at where the the squad is at now, where the club is at now, compared to three years ago, it's just a different animal. Entirely, which is cool. I mean, that's that's enough for optimism, you know, at least. Uh, but yeah, I, I do think our next left back, whenever Leighton Baines does decide to leave, is uh, that left back is uh, will is not on our roster yet. True. You know, so. All right, guys. So that's two yeses and a no with an asterisk. For the uh, Leighton Baines new contract uh, question mark segment. All right. Um, so this is our final video segment of this particular recording session. Uh, we are going to move over to the podcast. We've got a starting 11 quiz between these two guys. So if you want to pop on over there, you can hear these guys trying to figure out who the starters were in a match from the past. No spoilers, sweetie. Uh, but... In the meantime, if you're digging the videos, please subscribe to the Toffee Blues YouTube channel. We'd really appreciate it. If you want more Terry, take a number. That's what I say. Uh, yeah, he's he's available for uh, most birthday parties and uh, bar mitzvahs. So please, you know, find him whenever you want. Check out his Twitter, when and where he's going to be, making public appearances left and right, signing autographs. He's also on the Liverpool Echo fan jury, uh, dropping his uh, Everton knowledge like it's hot. Wow, how old am I? Ha <laughs> ha! So, uh, also, Max. Uh, Max is the uh, the brain behind the Carlisle podcast. So, uh, yeah, check out his, uh, his brain baby. All right? The Carlisle podcast where he's going to be... He does a lot of interviews with people in the football business because this is just, uh, yeah, it's Max's passion. Uh, yeah, so check that out. Lots of stuff there. Check his uh, Twitter uh, he'll tell you when and where that stuff's happening. And that's it. This is our final video segment. Uh, pop on over to Pod if you want for the for the quiz. Uh, two men enter, one man leave. What'll happen? I don't know. Guys, thanks so much. I'll talk to you in a little bit. Uh, but if you're not going over to the Pod, we'll miss all of you. You had me at hello, tear. All right, guys. Much love to you. See you in a minute. Bye.